explore, explore. We're all about it, explore, explore. Explore, explore, God's word, don't doubt it, explore, explore. We've got the Bible beat, so get on your feet. It's time to sing and praise. God's word is true, Jesus is there for you. It's time to sing and praise. Explore, explore, we're all about it, explore, explore. Explore, explore, God's word, don't doubt it, explore, explore. The more we go, the more we grow, it's time to sing and praise. Jesus and you and your friends too, it's time to sing, it's time to sing and praise. Hi kids, welcome to Kids Explore. I'm super excited to be with you this morning. Well, if it's your first time joining us, I would like to welcome you and say, welcome. And parents, we would love for you to get involved as we dance and worship Jesus, learn more about God's word, and one of my favorite part of the service, craft time. Do we have any birthdays today? Whether your birthday was last week or this coming week, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. So today we are on week two of our new Bible adventure, Jesus Says Truth Versus Lies. But before we go, go ooh, but before we go into that, let us worship.
Yo, worship was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I know I did. Are you ready to go on another Bible adventure with me? Well, today we learn more about fear. So for the next few weeks, we're going to be learning about stronghold, truth versus lies. What does Jesus say about strongholds? And today we're going to be learning about stronghold fear. Are you guys all humans here? I'm thinking we all are. And if you are all humans, we get afraid a lot of times. And I know I get afraid like every single second but we shouldn't be afraid because God is always with us and today we're going to learn how to overcome our fears with Jesus oh hello how's it going guess what time it is it is time for storytelling and yes we are on this epic journey, this epic adventure to find out what does Jesus say of lies versus truth. So today, we are of course talking about fear and what does God say about fear. And yes, I'm afraid if you're like me, we get scared a lot, like all the time as people because we live in a world that chose to go against God and do a bunch of bad things. So we live in a broken world and there's so, so much fear to go around. But there is good news because God speaks about this topic a lot. Now I mean a lot, I mean a lot. He speaks about it all over the Bible and he says this beautiful thing that helps me so much. He says, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid for I am with you. Now that leads us to today's story. The story about a young man or old man, depending on which part of the story, are called Moses. Now Moses was an Israelite. He was a Jewish person who lived in Egypt. And in that time, the Egyptians were being very, very bad to his own people horrible as slaves but Moses was lucky because he grew up in the palace as an Egyptian and he had everything he ever wanted but some terrible things happened and he was afraid so he ran away from his people from Egypt and everything and he lived in a desert in a foreign land but one day God in a burning bush, imagine fire and greatness. And God meets Moses face to face. And Moses is scared. It's God. Oh my goodness. And God says to Moses, Moses, I have a plan for you. I want you to save your people. I want you to save the Jewish people through me. You're going to set them free. You're going to take them out of Egypt. And I am going to do amazing wonders and miracles through Moses. That's great, you know, but Moses was afraid. He was so scared. But God, I can't do it, he said. I can't speak properly. They won't listen to me. The Egypts are too strong. It's crazy. I can't do it. And so this conversation between God and Moses continued. Eventually, God said, Moses, I will be with you. I will give you the word to say. I will teach you how to speak. Trust me. He even gives Moses a friend, Aaron, to help him. And eventually, God, Moses trusted God. And as a result, Moses was not afraid anymore. And God used him to set his people free to do incredible miracles. And he became a massive and big man of God. So the key point is, guys, yes, we are afraid. And we live in this world where fear is so abundant. But God says, I will be with you, that I will teach you what to do, when to do it. I am with you. Don't be afraid. So let's be like Moses and let's not be afraid and let's trust God. So next time, for example, you want to forgive a friend, but you are afraid. If you forgive that person, that friend will hurt you again. Guys, let's be like Moses. Don't be afraid. God is with me. He will help me, he'll teach me what to say, and he gives me the love and the comfort to do what he says, just like Moses. As I end off a credible scripture for you, these are the words of Jesus. As soon as Jesus was about to, he, was, he rose to life and he spent time with the disciples, and then just before he went to heaven, he said to his followers, fear not, 
for I will be with you to the end of the age. So let's be like Moses and let's trust those words that Jesus will be with us throughout the ages. And let's not be afraid. All right, mates? Until next time. Yo, that was such a great story. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and you learned a lot from it. Today I learned that we can overcome our fears when we have Jesus by our sides. Go tell all your friends about Jesus. Tell them that Jesus loves them and Jesus is always by their side. Bye for now. See you next week. Hi guys and welcome back to Craft Time. So today we learned about fear and what God says about fear. So for today we're going to be designing a comfort bag. So when you're feeling fearful you can just go into your bag and you can read out a scripture. So for today's craft you're going to be needing your white comfort bag, you're going to be needing some crayons, a marker, some things to decorate with and your scriptures. Um, one of my scriptures says 1 John 14 verses 19 and it says we love because he first loved us. So the first thing you're going to do is write comfort bag on a white bag. Once you're done writing comfort bag on your bag, you can now go and decorate your bag. So I'm going to put some stickers on my bag and I'm also going to color it in. So this is what your comfort bag should look like when you're finished decorating it. And now the next thing that you need to do is to put your scriptures in the bag. So now you have your own comfort bag. And when you are feeling scared or fearful, you can always just go into your bag and read one of your scriptures. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's craft and hope to see you guys next time.